Text 2 of Plastic Pollution magazine article from the National Geographic. As you listen to this reading, please consider first how this reading is structured and second, listen for at least one surprising fact. Title, With Millions of Tons of Plastic in Oceans, More Scientists Studying Impact by Laura Parker. The amount of global trash is expected to rise every year for the rest of the century. With no intervention, the growing garbage heap won't even peak by 2021. Since most marine debris originates on land, that grim prognosis could spell disaster for the oceans. It's creating an environmental hazard often compared in scope with climate change. We estimate we're going to have millions of tons of plastic going into the ocean with, so far, unknown consequences, says Jenna Jambeck, an environmental engineer. She is among a group of scientists pursuing a new phase of research on ocean trash and measuring its impact on the environment and marine life. The dilemma caused by the growing tonnage of mostly plastic debris is so complex, it has created a new interdisciplinary field of study. Scientists like Jambeck are examining many new issues that range from the toxicity of plastics ingested by marine animals to the politics and economics of solid waste management in developing nations. Heading, new questions for an old problem. Seafarers have known for decades that the oceans are trash dumps. They are the ultimate sinkholes. for all global garbage. So far, 136 species of marine animals have been found entangled in debris. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, the first such discovery was made in 1944. Then, northern fur seals turned up trapped in rubber collars that were the remains of Japanese food drop bags from World War II. But scientific research into marine garbage is only a decade or so old. The NOAA, for example, launched its marine debris program only in 2006. After Congress passed the Marine Debris Act at the urging of Senator Daniel Inouye, the defining moment of ocean debris research, says Jambeck, was when scientists discovered that ocean debris was no longer made of cloth, wood, and ceramics. Instead, it was composed almost entirely of plastic. Most of that is microplastic that has decayed and broken down into microscopic pieces that float in the water column. Once microplastics entered the picture and it was being ingested by marine life, it was a whole new ball game, Jambeck says. That's when alarms started going off. Jambeck and her team's research will provide new estimates of how much garbage is produced globally every year. It will show how much garbage comes from developing countries lacking garbage collection systems, and it will determine how much litter is produced by developed countries. All trash has the potential to reach the oceans. Despite the new burst of scientific study, solving the problem in the face of an increasing volume of ocean trash seems an almost insurmountable task. 